This is Matt for Into Boxing. I'm delighted to be joined by Will Harrison. Will, it's a pleasure. Um, Breer in Josh Warrington's gym, I've just seen you all get put through your paces. Um, how are you feeling now? Because I'm knackered watching you. Oh, no, no, I'm feeling good. Uh, just stepping up conditioning now. So I'm out in about four and a half weeks, so stepping it up a little bit now. Oh, have you got a fight date then? When are you next back out? What's yeah, your date? Back out on the uh, 25th of February at uh, uh, Leeds Football. Uh, Ellen Road, sorry, yeah, Ellen Road on uh, Matt Bates and MTK show. Oh, yeah, Michael Mooner, I think. Is that who, is that who you're that's fighting? That's fighting, that's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. So, you're 24 years of age, nicknamed The Thrill. Yeah. For people who haven't seen you, I've just asked you, mate, there, Josh. What's your fighting style? How do you fight? Why should people tune in and watch you? Uh, I'm a pure boxer. I like to get in there, uh, use my jab, use my range. But, you know, if uh, if we can get stuck in there and make a fight out of it, you know, I'm ready for it. Absolutely. What's it like being in this gym with the likes of, obviously, you've got world champions here, you've got Josh Warrington, Maxi Hughes, obviously you've seen Maxi's story, yeah. um, Reese Mould. I'm going to probably forget other people, but it, it is where it is. It's a bit late now. Um, what's it like being around this sort of different level of fighters who have been there? Um, must be good for you and your experience. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's hard work. You know, yeah, we're sparring lads all the time. Uh, you know, sometimes it's technique, sometimes there's a bit of spite into it, you know, they're putting us through it. But it's bringing us on as fighters and learning absolutely tons uh, every time I come down here. Love it. What's it been like, that transition from amateur to pro? Have you found it easier? Have you found some stuff difficult? Or have you just, have you preferred it? You mentioned you're a, you know, a slick boxer. Is this professional style more suited to you? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. I had a lot of time before I started coming down here with my manager, Glenn Banks, and he uh, helped me for about a year through COVID, just sort of transitioning a little bit to the pro side. So I feel like I had a little bit more slowed down, picking my shots, uh, stuff like that. I wasn't so erratic. And then coming down here, just building on it all the time. So, so yeah, it's been, uh, it's been yeah, a good tra transition. Nice one, nice. So outside of boxing, you're from, you're from Yorkshire, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From York. Are you, are you a Leeds fan? Uh, yes, I'll say that for the camera. I, I don't, I'm not a big football fan. Um, I think if I was going for a, a good day out, I'd 100% go to a Leeds game. But, yeah, I can't, I can't start running around saying I'm a massive football fan. All right, no, no worries. Obviously, a big Leeds contingent in this gym. Um, give Josh a bit of stick about the Leeds result at the weekend. So I just thought I'd see if you were on the on the same side. But no, it's it is where it is. What's um when you're when you're watching boxing now? Obviously, you just turn over pro. Who are the fighters that you look up to? Don't have to be necessarily in the weight that you're fighting at. But who are the fighters who you look up to? Who you know maybe you either study for, to bring into your own game or who you just enjoy watching? Uh, yeah, big ones. Uh, L Spence. Watch a lot of that. Uh, I like I like sort of the high guard, you know, pressure, but the boxing style to it. Uh, yeah, I like watching old fighters, Sugar Ray Leonard. I like uh, I like watching Pretty Boy Floyd Mayweather when uh, you know he was really sticking on it. So th that's the sort of style, you know, slick boxing, but also there for for fight, put on entertainment as well. What do you make of all the other stuff in boxing at the minute? We've also got with the heavyweights at the minute, it's a big debacle, obviously. Things going on in the background, let's just say, between Tyson Fury, Dillian White, Alexander Rusik, Anthony Joshua. Now, if Tyson Fury fights Dillian White, what do you think happens? Put your opinion on that. Who do you think wins that fight? I think that's a great fight. I think Dillian White's got real grit and he's going to bring it to Tyson Fury probably more than other fighters will and probably more than other people think but you know we can't overlook uh, Tyson's boxing style and slick movement so I think that's one of the probably best fights in heavyweight division to be honest with you. Yeah and if you throw that in with the rematch with Joshua Nusik obviously Joshua's took that defeat but do you think that in the rematch that he can change to flip that, flip the script on it, Usyk a little bit because he's very one-sided that first fight. Yeah, I, I don't. I mean, he made improvements with boxing. You know, when he uh, rematched with Ruiz, and he looks, he looks great. You know, boxing round, keeping on the jab. But I think Usyk, he's on it. You know, and I think he's going to make improvements as well. Very clever fighter. So I think. Good rematch, could go either way, but I'd probably be putting money on. Who's sick?
Right, and if by any chance there's any step aside and we get to see an undisputed between Fury and Usyk, who wins that? I think I would put my money on Fury. Yeah, um, just just for the sort of giant status and the fact that you know boxer against boxer could be a little bit um, standoffish at time, but. I feel like that that huge size, maybe his Fury will be able to use it a little bit better, just because he'll be able to be a bit more elusive and find the shots. Absolutely. Right, last one. It's coming up next month. Huge fight, one of the biggest fights in British boxing history. Amir Khan versus Kell Brook. Well, probably should have happened years ago, but I'm still, as it's getting closer, I'm getting more excited about it. So you tell me who do you think wins. At this stage of the career, who gets the win in that fight? I think, uh, I mean, I haven't really seen if, if Khan's been keeping his speed. I think if Khan's got the speed, he's going uh, gonna to be a real problem for Kell Brook. Um, but Kell Brook, Yorkshire guy, you know, he's got, he's got great, I've seen him, I, you know, I were up at the uh, Spence Brook fight and, he, you know, I know he took the knee, but he dug in there and, you know, he's proven that he's tough against Glofgan and stuff. So I mean, if he can get um, Khan into a fight, he can 100% make it his night. We talk about these fighters, they've all won, you know, world titles. Is that your dream in boxing, to become a world champion? Is that is that where is that where your head's at? I know it's an easy thing to say, but is it that? Is it multi weights? What do you want to achieve in your career? Yeah, hundred uh, percent. You know, I wouldn't wouldn't be in this if I didn't want to be a champion. And being around lads, you know, like Maxi, Josh, who you just see the normal lads, but work hard. You know, listen, and you know, you, you realise that it is possible. And uh, you know, it's it's all I think about when I go to bed at night. So. That's good to hear. Listen, we'll, I'm sure we'll catch up at a fight night soon. If not, I'll be back here. We'll roll it again. Uh, thanks for talking to Into Boxing. Just before we go, plug all your social medias so that fans of our page can follow you on your journey. Yeah, so it's Willie underscore Harrison, double underscore, uh, on Instagram. I haven't got Twitter. I haven't got time for that. Uh, I probably should get it. Make time for yeah, it. make time for it. <laughs> um, Facebook, Willie H. Harrison, but Instagram's the main thing, so yeah, if you go follow me on there. Guys, give him a follow, young prospect on the rise. He's 1-0 at the minute, he's fighting very soon. Will, thanks for talking to Into Boxing, and we'll catch up again. Thank you very much. Take it easy.